the church that Jesus wants? Is this the church that Jesus wants? Is this the church that Jesus wants? I've been asking myself several questions. Is this the church that Jesus wants? I was also asking myself, am I the real Christian that Jesus wants? What is happening in our church? I'm seeing our church in broken pieces. I'm seeing our church dismantled, distracted, destroyed because of sin. I'm seeing our church full of unfaithful servants of God. I'm seeing our church full of people, full of Christians who are not very sure whether they are Christians or not. I'm seeing our church with people who pretend to be Christians, yet they are not. Am I, are you a true representation of Jesus Christ? Am I doing my best to reveal the Christianity that Jesus wants? Let us ask ourselves, if you go anywhere and you be asked about your church, how is your church? What do you say? Not Solus Church only, even those who are our visitors. Think about your church. If someone asks about your church, what will you say about your church? Is this the church that Jesus wants? At times we pretend as Christians that we don't know the church that Jesus wants. Let us hear from the word of God what Jesus says in, first, in 2 Timothy 3, verse 1 to 5. 2 Timothy 3, verse 1 to 5. But Mark this. They will return the times in the last days. People who will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, having nothing to do, have nothing to do with such people. Amen. I'm happy with the last verse that our Jesus has nothing to do with that church. Are we not part of this? Are we not playing a part in making our church not the church that Jesus wants? What are we doing? How are we contributing to have a church that Jesus wants? We have built very thick walls. You know, in building, there are some walls which are said one brick wall, two coarse brick wall, and even one and a half brick wall, which means very thick, double brick wall, very thick like this. And we're saying, how many, how, 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 Thick is the, uh, wall, uh, the walls which we have built in our church. We have formed cliques which we say no one can what, penetrate or enter or get out of it. We have formed groups of cliques which are so notorious and disgusting in front of the Lord. Are we not in these cliques? I have seen it when we have got visitors and even friends who want to join our cliques, that we form a good barrier, that no one should what? penetrate. Visitors in church, they are even ignored. You, no one will greet us. No one will greet them. No one will say, hey, how are you? Where are you from? You know, everyone loves to be known when, when they are. They want to be felt that their presence is shown here and there. But we ignore. I remember one time we got a visitor who is here and in this church. She was very new. I was getting out of the church after service. Then I just heard like, 
English akao macho kwadi it's shona language saying e, it is very difficult then i i look at the person who was saying that she was a new woman whom i have never seen then she went on to say they don't even greet people everyone is just going away and it's like i'm not even seen that i'm a what i'm a visitor so where do i go then i was like ha huh? my heart pumped when i heard that then i said ha huh? sorry we greet people how are you how are you and i said hey you are you are new yeah okay i, I was trying to compensate you know compensate your behavior trying to uh, i could feel that if i was the one truly people when they say as we are filing out they start talking to their friends ah, how are you how was your pastor but here yeah, they will be going 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 and she was just standing by the foyer how bad it is is this the church that jesus wants how do we lure new souls to the church of god if we have got these barriers how do we do it i remember in this church there are people who cannot even see eye to eye in this church i remember there is also a, there was a sister who would come in uh, for divine and as soon as she notices the person who is preaching is not the most favorable one she was just saying Mwah, and go out of the church that's how bad we are in this church is this the church that jesus wants how many of us are still doing that i have seen people when you are about to greet them they start phoning how are you yes, yes, yes. I, i don't know whether there will be a call or what but i have seen it as a way of avoiding talking to people there was this other uh, pastor of mine who was like he doesn't even want before even covid he didn't want to shake hands with anyone so he would do make sure that when he's approaching a person he will be holding a bible like this and you will say how are you then even if you stretch your hand you will go like how many of us do that and is this the church that jesus wants we have seen many things happening in church many things happening in church to such an extent that when someone sits here the other one what who move and go to the next bench how do you feel is this the church that jesus wants i've seen people who be looking down upon other people as if they don't even think as if they are just but useless but in front of the uh, in front of the lord with the degrees with the nothing being old and small we are all at pa is this the church that jesus wants you know what church i miss my church i miss a church where there will the would the would be spontaneous amen hallelujah in church to show that people are getting what the preacher is is saying and they are going hand in hand with what with the preacher which is no long happening today you know it's like when you're preaching people be just looking at you some will be sleeping some will be uh, whispering to each other some will be just i don't know if you look if on the face of the person is very far away from the church look at each other and see who is here some even in church here i have seen you even when the when the the the, the, the weather is that cold people would love to sit at the periphery the, and this uh, front seat uh, front seat would be no one and you'll be talking alone here in church as if they are about to go out as if they want to run out as if the preacher is going to to to, to chase them so they are ready to to escape my god is this the church that jesus wants whereby you don't even want to hear 
I think when people were, uh, when Jesus was here on, on earth, everyone wanted to be what? Near him. To such an extent that he would bruise and bruise upon the what? People. But when we come to church, we are saying we are coming to Jesus. And people want to be at the periphery there. Is this the Christianity which reveals the Jesus that we are praying? That we are worshipping? My fellow Christians, let us not pretend as if we do not know the Jesus whom we are worshipping. I miss in this church outings which we used to have as a church. You know, we used to have outings. We used to have surprise wedding anniversaries and birthdays of ordinary uh, church members. I, I, I wish we could go back to that church. Whereby everyone would be feel like, yes, people know that, ah, oh, I wait on this date. Yeah. Oh, people know my birthday. We know the clerk of everything, birthday of Letwin Hunyanyiwa, who is a member of this church. They know. Why can't we do that? This is the church which we want. This is the church which Jesus wants. I miss the church where we would go for exercise. You know, everyone would be going like this. Mothers this side, fathers that other side, mingling together. Hello, hello, yeah, good morning, good morning. I, I miss this church whereby we would be mingling on a Sabbath or even a Friday when we meet. Happy preparation day. How are you? How will be your Sabbath? Hey, what, where are we going to meet tomorrow? Where are we going to have lunch? Oh, we're going to have lunch at Miss. Uh, 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 love. We're going to have lunch at uh, Dr. Sandasara. We're going to have, you know, I miss that church. Now we are full of envy, full of bad thinking of each other, full of bad doings, full of hate. I can't meet this one. If this one's there, I can't be there. Who are we to judge? Who are we not to forgive? Is this the Jesus church which we want? You know, we used to greet each other. Lovely here. On a Sabbath, you could tell that today is what? Is a Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. With a smile, you know. But now you say, Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy. We pretend to be so busy for nothing, even on a Sabbath day. Sabbath day is for us to relax and think about Jesus, be show all that love which we cannot even show during the week. It's better to pretend and not to show exactly that you are not. You don't even bother whether it's a Monday or a Sabbath. You know, everyone like me, I hate Mondays because Mondays they are busy working days. But come. Saturday, we relax, we show love, we show everything. But we don't, we look busy also on a Sabbath. <laughs> happy Sabbath. Oh, happy. Is it happy? Let's show the happy Sabbath. I miss that church. I used to be in that church and I want that church. And I think that is the church that Jesus wants. The other thing which I miss so. I miss our lovely Solusu Potlucks. We used to have so lovely, I'm, I'm putting lovely, Solusu what? Potlucks, because they were lovely for sure. There was no Sabbath where we say, as we are falling out and we fell to our homes and stayed there until Vespas. No. We could know that by one o'clock we are meeting at this place at the waterworks. We used to have very nice flowers, rose flowers with good smelling scent there. And at times we would be having another place there, down there for our potlucks as a family of Solusi. I miss that. I think that one is the church that Jesus wants. Not this one of being selfish with your family every day. I'm not very sure whether you eat the same type of meal or you've got this luxurious meal which you think you are stingy, you cannot even share with us, which cannot afford. I just assume so. You cannot share what you have, which is nice with those who cannot afford, right? 
I miss those. I miss the powerful weeks of prayer, week of spiritual emphasis, where we would start with the uh, fasting and praying at the, at the campsite. We'll be praying for the week of spiritual emphasis, for the speaker, for the source, for everyone to get the word of God. It's either we're being widened our faith or we're made to what to repent. I miss that church, and I think that is the church that Jesus wants. You know, we, had, we used to have uh, fast and prayer at the campsite, even for the exams. Before students write their exams, we have that. That they will have confidence when they are what? writing. That when they are writing, no matter how difficult the exam could be, they remember that we have fasted and prayed for this. And our Lord have heard our prayers. And we could hardly find students who could fail. Of course, there were those outstanding ones. But we cannot say if we are having a 5% failure out of 100%, that's a, a success. And I think that is the, the church that Jesus wants. What kind of church is this? You know, during the week of spiritual emphasis, I, I, I miss this one. Our chaplain would go, walk around each and every one. Hey, hello, how are you? How are you getting the word? How is the word to you? Uh, is there any hope that people will get uh, will repent? And you give him the feedback. Ah, it's powerful, Pastor. We are really, we are really, really getting it. We are really being what? Washed and cleansed in his blood. We are really getting it. If it's not, we will really tell him that, ah, 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 Pastor, this one, you, you misfired. And at the end of the week, I remember my pastor would stand up. Even that one was very weak. He would stand up only for an altar call and say, Jesus is here. You are not coming here for anyone, not for the preacher, because the preacher would not be, would be weak, isn't it? Not for the preacher, but for your Jesus. Just come. And you see people, so millions and millions, rushing to the what? To, the what? to see Jesus, and the Jesus could be felt. The feeling of the Holy Spirit could be felt by everyone. You could feel the hovering of the Holy Spirit by Friday. Everyone would start hymning the songs. Friday evening, 3 o'clock. And those groups will start be yeah, pitching there in room 5, in room what? In Maranatha. Now it's no longer. I've been taking a census on Fridays. We can't exceed 60 people who will be in this church. Only Tuesdays, the same. And we will start being 35 there. The rest will come late. And the rest to become to sickest will be as we are filing out and you meet them by the door. That's how we are not serious about the church that Jesus wants. We could be early in our workplaces. We could be early everywhere. But in this church, we are coming late. In this church, we are deciding not even to attend for no apparent reason. In this church, because Fridays, by Vespers, everyone cannot make any, not anybody, and not even one person can make an excuse that I was busy or what. No business at Solus. But in church, there is no one. That's why our church is being occupied by beds. Beds are worshiping 24-7. But the people who are supposed to be in this church are nowhere to be found. Even prayer bent. Five o'clock, we used to have all these middle pews full, but now we find three, two, four, five people for prayer band in the morning. We used to have another prayer band at 8 p.m. All these pews will be full, but now it's no more. We don't even have it, 8 p.m. one. My question is, is this the church that Jesus wants? Ask yourself, in whatever capacity, whether you're an ordinary member, whether you're a deacon, a deaconess, an elder, a pastor, whoever you are in this church, are you doing your best to reveal the church that Jesus wants? 
you'll be surprised that even elders, you cannot even see them at times. You'll be surprised that those people who are coming to present Sabbath school are the last people to come in. The choristers will sing and sing and sing until they can sing anymore, waiting for the people to come in. No one will come in in time. Is this the church that Jesus wants? We would go as a church with our Solus bus, even with our cars, to Mananda Dem, to pray, just to pray as a what? As a church. And when we are in those outings, there will be hidden talents among us, which you never, which you would have never seen in church performing. But when we are out there, you come to know, oh, this one is a powerful preacher. This one is a powerful thing. This one you've got powerful testimony. My question is, as an individual, what are you doing to show that this is the church that Jesus wants? Let us hear what the Lord says about other churches. Revelation 3, verse 21. Yes, that is what the Lord is saying. That if you are victorious in his, this church, in his church, you will be successful. You will be accepted in the kingdom of God. But if you are not, then you are that church. Let's hear that church, Revelation 2, verse 7. Whoever has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. This is the church that Jesus wants, that if you are there, then you will be there. Imagine, imagine what type of tree the Lord has already prepared for us. What type of food, what type of a table, what type of delicious meal have the Lord prepared for us if we do according to his will, if we do according to the church he wants? There is this church which have disappointed the Lord. And I think we are there. Revelation 3, verse 14 to 16. To the angel of the church in Laodicea write, These are the ways of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were neither one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I, will, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Amen. Can you say amen, church? Yes, we are there. There are people here. There are people in church who are Look home. They are neither cold nor hot in Jesus' church. We don't know where exactly to place you, but you know yourself better. And you think you're playing a tricky to the Lord, but the Lord is saying, behold, I'll spit you. I like it when it is uh, in Debele. The Debele word says, Zak. 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 Yes. Which means he will not just spit, spit you here and the spit, spatum will be here. It will be meters away from him, you know. That's the Ndebele vision. But you will be meters away. You will be very far. That's how bad you are from the Lord. If you think you are playing a, a funny trick that no one will be able to tell whether you are a real Christian or you are not. You are neither what nor a cold about the Jesus church. If you are a, a, a deacon, you are found today doing deaconess duties. Tomorrow you are not. But at times, at times you even hear them. Ah, chambo by zira. I'm just going to do it so that they will see my face. You know, so that they will not say I'm not coming to church. You come to church today. You don't come for the next two, 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 two sabbaths, and then you also make your face shown, and you disappear. Neither hot nor cold. Is this the Christianity that reveals the Christian that Jesus wants? My question is, let us ask ourselves, 
Church, let us ask ourselves on a serious note that is this the, Jesus, the church that Jesus wants? Is this the Christianity I am revealing right now that Jesus wants? Is this who, what I am doing right now? Is this that Jesus wants? And at the end, will I be invited in his, on his, uh, at his table? Let us present our church to the Lord so that the church will remold us. I remember there was a, 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 a sermon which says, let us revive. And I'm saying, let us present our church, not only church, let us present ourselves as individual Christians because the church is made up of individual Christians. What am I doing? Is it the best that Jesus wants? My heart has been broken. I've been hated by fellow Christians. So what? Present that to the Lord, that the Lord will remold you. He said, create in, in me a new heart, O Lord. David said that. Can we have that prayer as well, as Christians, so that we can be able to show the church that Jesus wants? As we are finding out today, can we remember the church that Jesus wants? Can we remember to smile at everyone? Can we remember to greet everyone? Can we remember to give hope in the whole place? Can we remember to help those who are in need? Can we remember to share the few good things which you are having? Can we remember to lure those who are outside Christianity to be in this church? By our doings, by our action, we can tell this is the church that Jesus wants. Wherever we are, whatever we'll be doing, even in our offices of work, can we show this is the church that I'm working for, that Jesus wants? The way we talk to people, if, if it is a negative answer, there is a negative answer which is positive. I am a mathematician. A negative plus a negative gives a what? A positive. But if we say a negative and a positive, we always get a what? A negative. So, someone comes to your office in a positive way, you reply with a negative way and always get a what? A negative attitude. My question is, can we be able to change giving the negatives which we receive in our offices or in our workplaces to get it to a negative which becomes a what? A positive. And we reveal the real church that Jesus wants. Ask yourself, ask yourself as I, I'm asking myself, in whatever capacity, in what, whatever way or spheres in, of influence in which I am right now, am I the true representation of God? Is this the church that Jesus wants? May we be blessed.